Hi everyone, so I'm going to do a life update. Lots has happened over the last few months. So, most of you know that I'm going home for the summer, which I've been going on about for ages and I'm really excited about. Um, I go home about a week or so, a week or two before my husband, because my visa ends before his um, last day of school's up, so I can't wait around for him. So, I'm going home for the summer, which I'm really excited about, and then... Uh, we don't know what we're doing in September. We don't know if we're coming back to Qatar or not. Um, right, so I'll rewind. So what happened is, is my husband's work is meant to be paying for our family visas. Turns out they haven't even started our visas. This was about two weeks ago we asked them because we had to renew our visas roughly two weeks ago. And he said, look, you know, what's happening with the visas? Because I've had to pay out again. And they said, oh, have you given everything in? don't even know where, where they are and he was like yeah I've given everything in and they said oh okay well no we haven't even started them yet <sighs> can you believe it we're forking out £60 and then the next month we're forking out another £60 and then the following um, month we're not, we can't renew them we have to keep crossing the border we've had to, we've had to get on a plane twice now and cross the border it's, we're just, it's just costing us money like, it's just forking out for no reason when they should have had these done a long time ago so they've really annoyed us with, with the visas. And there's other things that have happened that, that you know that he's not very happy with. So he started applying for other jobs. You know, he said, you know, I'm not happy. I'm changing it. You know, that's what you should do in life. You know, you're not happy with something, you change it. So he he did. He's um, he's been applying for other jobs. He's applied for a job in Mexico, a job in China, a job in Egypt. He had an interview yesterday for China. Um, so I'm really excited. Like we could be moving somewhere else. Like, I've always wanted to travel. That's probably one of my number one things I've wanted to do in life is travel the world. And yeah, I'm really, really excited to be doing that. Um, so the, the the problem is is come come say they right, so say they don't. I don't think they're going to start our visas anytime soon because it's nearing the end of the school year and next month is Ramadan and everything shuts down over Ramadan. Like. Um, Everything completely closes. Shops shut. Clove shops might be open. It's a hit or miss. Sh uh, coffee shops can't get a coffee. It's just it's everything becomes ghost town. Um, day becomes night. Night becomes day. Everything is just reversed. It's just one long month of <laughs> that basically. One and it, the thing is, it's um, it's the summer, so it's longer. It's going to be longer. It's um, they break the fast earlier and. Well, they eat earlier and then they break it a lot later in the day. My husband's a Muslim, so, yeah, he doesn't really look forward to this time of year. He does at the end when it's Eid, but he doesn't when it's Ramadan. He's like, oh, I hate doing Ramadan, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, uh, so I don't think they're ever going to... I don't think they're going to be starting in time soon. So it looks like they're going to be starting it come September. Now, if they start it in September... Some places can take up to six months to do a visa. That means February we're going to get our visas. Then we're leaving in like four months because his contract's over. But well, if we decide to leave anyway, which is probably what's going to happen. If we do, if we do end up staying for another year, we will definitely be leaving by, by next year. And I was just like, what is the point? So we, he's been looking elsewhere for a job and um, we'll just see what happens. We don't know what we're going to do. We, we don't know. He's like, I just don't know if to just go back to the UK and just keep applying for jobs while we're there and then just go. I don't know. Anyway, um, I've joined Doha Mums. I can't believe I left it this late. I only joined it like five weeks ago. I should have joined it ages ago. I had a bit of a confidence issue, I think. I think I was a bit like, oh, a bit nervous to go meet other people. And I don't know why I was feeling like that because I'm never usually like that. Anyway. I joined them and I've been to some play groups. I've met a lady who lives just like across the road from me, and we've been meeting up a few times like outside the Doha Mums. We've we've been going to like our own like um, children's soft plays and yeah, like I just can't believe I left it this long. I've really enjoyed meeting up. I'm going to a port. I'm taking the kids to like um, an afternoon pool session at one of the hotels next week, and dads are invited. So my husband's going to come after work. So yeah, it's all really good I'm getting out of the house a lot lot more now um, there, is a, there is another thing that's changed um, ok so my husband I've just mentioned he's a Muslim so he's very much into sort of like the giving back kind of thing and you know all that um, he is talking about he's like I really want to adopt now I don't know if I want to adopt um, I think it's lovely I really do think adopting is lovely but I just don't know if I could do it you know I just don't know if I don't know if I can see myself adopting, I don't know. 
anyway, he's, he's talking about it. He's like, yeah, I'd really love to adopt, really love to adopt. But I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm not sure. Um, I have very mixed feelings about adding a, adding a third in. Because Kaysen was really difficult. He was a very difficult baby. He's still a very difficult child. I have suspicions he's ADHD, but that's another story for another day. Um, and we was never going to have no more after Kaysen. After he being such a difficult baby and me having postnatal depression, we was just never going to go down that road again. And if I had never fallen pregnant with Noah by, you know, surprise, I would never. We would never have had. A, we would never have had a, a second. That's why I believe Noah was meant to be. Like I just believe in fate. Um, it's not the only reason, but that, like, you know, it's just another example of why I believe in it. And Noah is just, he's restored my faith in babies. Like, I just, I can't believe I got blessed with Noah. Like, he's just, he's just amazing. This, this baby, he's just, he's just calm and peaceful and he's just lovely. And seriously, I just, I've enjoyed, I've enjoyed this, like, postnatal period. I really have. And I said, to, I said to my husband nearly every day, I've enjoyed it so much this time around. I really have enjoyed it. And then he's always like, you know, do you think you'd, you know, he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah we could adopt, like, you know, you've really enjoy, enjoyed it, blah, blah, blah. But I don't know. But then having, having my own child, like a third child of my own, of our own, even that I have very mixed feelings about. For the same reasons I've just mentioned, I'm very, very nervous that, that if I had a third, I'd be pushing my luck because I wouldn't want another baby to be like Kaysen because he's very difficult. I can't go down, I can't sit down for coffee. Like, I mean, I've been out for these coffee mornings and they're just hell. I'm constantly running out the coffee shop after him because he's running down the um, shopping centres. I'm having to run after him every, like, two minutes because he keeps running off. He's really, he just doesn't sit still. Like, I've took the iPad with me to entertain him. Nope, he's not interested. I've took him toys. Nope, not interested. He's more interested in running off. And, you know, I've had to cut the coffee morning short when he stood there. I've only stayed there for, like, an hour at a time. So, yeah, I feel like I'd be pushing my luck if I had a third. So I have very, very mixed feelings about it. You know, I, I often say, you know, I've really enjoyed it this time around. Like, if we had a third, like, you know, it would... I wouldn't be worried about it. Like, if I'm in... If I fell pregnant by accident, like... like I don't want to say accident. Not by, by surprise. It wouldn't really, really worry me. But I don't think I'd set out to have a third. I think I'm very stretched with two. Like, two is manageable. You know, one is easy. Like, you can just... One on one, you can do that. But when it's, like, two against one, it's it's... It gets harder, and at the moment it's manageable. I've I've got to a point where I'm comfortable looking after two, and I can do it. I think if I added a third, I think I'd be pushing my luck. But you know, my husband's really adamant on adopting. I don't know how I feel about that, but you know, that's something that we're thinking about. You know, something that we're considering. I don't think it's going to happen. If I'm honest with you, I don't know. The likely possibility of us having our own of our, our own child, like a third of our own, that's kind of, I don't know, you know, we was always like, once I fell pregnant with Noah, it was like, right, this is it, this is, we know, because we was so scared, we were so scared that I was going to be, I was going to have postnatal depression again, you know, it was in the back of my mind, it was really in the back of my mind, and the fact that it could be, a, the baby could be really difficult, um, and I was, I was quite nervous, because... I had Kaysen, and he was a he was a boy. I was I was thinking if I had another boy, it was gonna it was he, like he was gonna be exactly the same way. So I was very very nervous, very nervous. But no, Noah is just amazing. Like, I seriously, I thank God every day that Noah is just a bit more is a lot more easier than Kaysen, a lot more easier. So yeah, I just I don't know. I feel like I'll be pushing my luck with three. But you know, it's kind of something that we're thinking about. But I don't think. I don't know. It's not something that I think is going to happen. It's just something that we're thinking about, but my husband really wants to adopt. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. So, yeah, I'll speak to you all really soon for another video.